Hello friends, this video on electricity and circuits part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we know that electric cell is something which is very very critical uh, to be present in a circuit because if there is no electric cell, there will be no electric current in the circuit. So let's try to connect the electric cell to the circuit correctly because a lot of times what happens is people connect the electric cell to the electric circuit but in an incorrect way because of which electric current doesn't flow through the circuit. So let us try to connect it. So what do we need? We need a bulb. Why do we need a bulb? Because we want to see. This is one of the best ways to see if current is flowing through the circuit or not. If current flows through the circuit, bulb will glow. If current doesn't flow, the bulb will not glow. So let's say you have this bulb and this bulb, when you focus at the base of the bulb, you see what is it made up of? You will see that the tip of the bulb is made up of a metal and again this base of the bulb it also contains turns of a metal. So this tip of the bulb and the base of the bulb these are the two terminals of the bulb. So basically uh, you have to connect a wire from this terminal of the bulb and another wire from the tip of the bulb. So these are the two terminals and now how do we connect it to the electric cell. Now the electric cell each and every cell will have these labeling a positive terminal and a negative terminal. So you take out a wire from the positive terminal you take out a wire from the negative terminal. So in real life if you want to do it you just wrap around the wire over the battery and take out one end from this side the other end from this side. So that's how you connect wires. <coughs> So now we will see that how do we connect both of these with each other in the right way. Now before that, just wanted to tell this to you. As far as a bulb is concerned, you will always see that this is the base of the bulb. This part, the lowermost bottom part is the base of the bulb. And this part where you see this ribbed side, so this is called the ribbed side of the bulb where you can see coils of uh, metal structure and in between the rib side and the base you have an insulating layer which separates the ribbed side and the base and that, that prevents the direct flow of charge between these two and that is why these are two different terminals. For example here also you have a positive terminal and negative terminal but something separates these two such that there is no direct flow of charges between them otherwise they both will become the same terminal. So to keep these two terminals separate in between them you have an insulating layer. So in between you have an insulating layer which will prevent direct flow of charges between the ribbed side and the base. So now you have two terminals of the bulb connected by these two wires and two terminals of the cell connected by these two wires. Now how do we make the circuit? So let us uh, look at some of the trials to connect the circuit. Now these are some of the ways people try to connect the bulb to the battery because we know that if we have a cell and if we have a bulb, so the cell will be able to provide electricity. So if we connect these two with the help of conducting wires, then the bulb should glow. So that is our expectation as per what we learned in the theory. So here we see how do we connect the bulb. So a lot of times people take a bulb it, they connect it to the positive terminal of the battery. So you see one terminal of the bulb that is the base is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. What about the negative terminal of the battery? It is not at all connected because the wire which comes out from the bulb is left open. So it doesn't connect to the negative terminal of the battery. Therefore there will be no current flow because as I said for current to flow the circuit needs to be complete. Circuit will be complete only when the circuit is connected from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. So in this case the circuit is not complete therefore the bulb doesn't glow. Now in this case what you have done is you have connected one terminal of the bulb to the positive terminal of the uh, battery. So this one, this is connected. The other terminal of the bulb which is here is also connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So what about the negative terminal? So again the negative terminal is missed out. It is not even involved in the circuit. So in this case also the circuit is not complete and therefore there will be no current flow and the bulb will not glow. Now in the third case what happens is again one terminal of the bulb which is the base of the bulb is connected to the 
positive terminal of the battery. But the other terminal of the bulb is connected to the bulb itself. So again in this case the negative terminal is left out. So the circuit is not complete. In the fourth case, you see the positive terminal and the negative terminal are connected to each other. But what about the bulb? So only one terminal of the bulb is connected to the positive terminal. The other terminal is not at all involved. So therefore again the circuit is not complete. So if we want to connect the bulb with the cell, we need to ensure that the two terminals of the bulb are connected to the two terminals of the cell. So let us look at some of the correct ways of connecting the two. So this is one connect way, correct way where you connect one terminal of the bulb with the positive terminal of the cell, this one, and the other terminal of the bulb with the negative terminal of the cell. So in this case you see both the terminals of the cell are connected to both the terminals of the bulb. So in this case current flows through the circuit therefore the bulb glows. Now there are many different ways in which you can make the circuit complete. For example you can also connect this terminal of the bulb with the positive terminal of the battery and the base terminal to the negative terminal. So it doesn't matter which terminal of the bulb you are connecting to which terminal of the battery. So if you connect any terminal just that the circuit needs to be complete and then the bulb will glow. You can also do it in this way that you connect this base terminal of the bulb to the negative terminal of the battery and you connect the other terminal to the positive terminal. Or you can also connect this ribbed side to the negative terminal and the base to the positive terminal. So these are some of the ways in which you can connect the bulb and the cell which will make the circuit complete and therefore the bulb would glow. So with this you can understand that electric cell is important because it provides electric, it generates electric current in the circuit. And it is also important that you connect the bulb to the electric cell in the right way. Because if you do not connect it in the right way there will be no current flow in the circuit and therefore the bulb would not glow. So with all these observations what do you conclude? We conclude that the aim what we have here is to create a complete conducting path from positive terminal to negative terminal of the battery. So in each of these you see you have a complete conducting path from positive to negative terminal of the battery. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.